So we off to now, Eric. We're gonna film another episode of I Am Tustin. We're gonna check out a cool Greek spot over here in uh, Greek, like gyro, gyro, gyro. We're gonna break some plates, all that fun stuff. Can't wait to try this spot out here. Most definitely, I heard a lot of good stuff about this Greek place. I think they have the, the gyro, gyro, gyro. I don't know. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Hello. How you doing? Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm James. And I'm Eric. And I'm Sarah. Well, thanks for inviting us. I can't wait to try this food. Oh, welcome to Pista because we've got some stuff planned for y'all. Awesome. Fabulous. So come on Let's in. Let's check it out. It was great walking in. I saw those awesome pictures on, on the wall and everything, with family and everything, cool little restaurant. Um, you guys have good food here, to my understanding. I do. <laughs> have a question. How easy or hard is it to make a gyro, a gyro? It's gyro, and, but we always know what to bring people when they say it. And actually, I can teach you if you want. Let's try it. So this is one of our favorite. Everybody loves it, everyone comes for it, but it's hardly a representation of all the diverse menu items we have. But I've never met anyone that doesn't love a gyro. Though I've met a lot of people who can't say it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this real quick. So it's a spiced and cured um, mixture of lamb and beef. All gyro will be that way. Okay. In Greece, it's layered up like fillets of meat. In America, you'll get it this way where it's already kind of spiced and cured that way. You guys are doing a very good job. <laughs> this kind of looks like a burrito here. I don't know what that yeah, is, right? so you got that wrapper, you can put it in the foil or you can do it. You guys got it? <laughs> yes. I think it made a Greek burrito or something. Yeah, I don't know what this did. is. <laughs> People call it everything. Actually, your burritos are Greek gyro. Oh, yeah. there we go. <laughs> The lamb chops, talking about these delicious lamb chops that are supposedly really famous or just really delicious. They are absolutely our house specialty. She's got the perfect flavor of uh, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of lemon. A lot of people have had bad experience with lamb, Greek festivals, stacked plates. So we always say just try them. And in our opinion, it's like as good as the best steak you've ever had, best filet. So, um, Marinated overnight, extra virgin olive oil, spices like my sister said. You grill it, and the way we do it is a little lemon on top, fresh squeezed. And truly, once you have them, we think you never go back to a steak. <laughs> and of course, just the wine selection you guys have is huge, which is a nice selection of wine, which probably complements everything we have here. Top <laughs> selection, we like to say. Great list of Greek imported wines, also some French and classic California wines. <laughs> yes, we just brought a couple of our Greek examples out here, um, but we have a whole cellar. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, compliment the... Well, serve me about it. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? It yeah. is. Cheers. Cheers. See ya, we say in Greek. Yeah. See, see your health. See her. See ya. See ya. See ya. You guys also have a flaming cheese, right? Yes. The saganaki is one of our specialties as well. Um, it is cheese served flambéed. So it's actually on fire? It's on fire. We bring it to the table and we extinguish it with some lemon oh. and you can just cut it up, eat it by itself. You know, this this um, hummus is on point. Like it's, it, you just taste the freshness. It's not it's not like your normal hummus you open a plastic container in. I mean, this is actually, you could taste the, the love. So we just gave you a teaser portion. Uh, dinner comes with four, just so you can try one and have room to come back for dinner. But we squeeze lemon on it and then you can eat it by you know what in Greece. Is it like a finger food or is it, it can be. We bring you can do steak knives or lamb knives. Pick it up. That's what you can just hold it from um, one of our very regular customers he just comes and says I want my lollipop but we've got a big lamb lollipop oh my gosh. so it's bigger than your typical one you'd see at a restaurant. Lamb chops are are delicious. Aren't they so good? You know, that lemon in there all those spices just kind of like Moving around in my mouth right now, it's so delicious. And it's yeah. literally, oh. it's seared like to perfection. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. All right, so we've had some phenomenal lap chops, hummus. I need to try these uh, leafy, leaf wraps. <laughs> Domadas, whatever you say, we get it. The domadas are delicious. Yeah, it's being a food, right? That's the best when you're with brothers, family, yes. Is this, an really this is an appetizer? Yes, this is an appetizer. Greek style is so flexible that you can do all mezzas, which are our appetizers. Yeah. 
You can do one entree. We like to do family style, so we're just ordering, ordering. No, the food is really good. The gyros with the meats. I mean, everything is like on point here, and it's a family, a family restaurant made from scratch, made from love. You can totally tell. Thank you for, uh, for having us around here. This is a great place. Um, as you know, I am Tustin's all about the uh, local restaurants, hidden gems here in the city of Tustin. Thank you guys for having us here at the restaurant for the great food and everything else. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katrina. I'm Sarah. And I'm, I'm Tustin. Tustin. Man, Eric, that food is amazing. I mean, everything from the lamb chops to that salad. And I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of lamb chops, but these lamb chops were on point. Season. Seasoning. And the gyro was delicious. Yeah, definitely. The everything. Hummus. Definitely gotta come back and check out Christakis. Good food, good drinks, whole nine yard, made from scratch, good food. Make sure you follow us, like us, share us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, see us on this episode of I Am Testing. Oh.